Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to install a data logger onto an Xair digital flow meter. The data logger is a really helpful device for data acquisition if you're doing a compressed air audit or if you need to just get all the information that's actually being measured with the digital flow meter into a chart form because everything that comes through the data logger can actually import into Excel or you can use the software that comes with the device. So it's really helpful. First thing you need to do is you need to remove power from the digital flow meter. You may notice that the power is actually on the left side of the unit, but we have this one powered through the right, and that's actually through a summing remote display. If you're curious how that installs, you can click the link below, and we'll guide you through a step-by-step -step process. After we get power removed, we need to remove the four Phillips head screws and the faceplate. Okay, with the faceplate out of the way, we can see the top circuit board. And the top circuit board doesn't have any kind of special hardware that holds it on, just pops off and you can get it out of the way. At this point, we're ready to feed the actual wiring for the connection through this knockout hole on the side. So what we'll do is we'll feed off this connection through the pass-through and we'll get it in and get it ready. Okay, so now I have the pass-through connector installed. I haven't gotten this tightened down yet so I can actually feed it in and out if I need to. Get that on there a couple threads. And now you need to make the connection at the terminal block. The terminal you need for the red wire is the MA negative, milliamp negative. And the terminal you need for the black is the ground. So we'll make those connections now. Okay, so now we have our wiring where it needs to be. We have the red on the MA negative, we have the black on the ground, and everything is secure on the terminal block. What we need to do next is we need to power up the digital flow meter. Once this reading stabilizes, we're going to push this button here two times, and that's going to give us our calibration point. You need to write this number down for later use when you install the software. Alright, I now have the power removed again from the digital flow meter. The top circuit board is back in place, and I'm going to install the faceplate. Okay, the last thing we need to do is to install the battery into the data logger. It's really simple. This opens up in two halves. The battery installs here, and it goes back together. Done. Once you have this back together, connect the two halves, and it's ready to go. The software for the digital flow meter is also a really easy install and we'll guide you through that in the next video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact an application engineer.